doing our AMC Rewind section. These are the movies that came out 10 years ago this weekend. So we got Eight Below, starring Paul Walker. We have Date Movie, which was a spoof of Date Movies, and Freedom Land, starring Samuel L. Jackson and Julianne Moore. My God, it was February 10 years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> and 20 years ago, these are the movies that came out. The all-time classic, We Miss You, Adam Sandler. Happy Gilmore. We also had Muppet Treasure Island. Mr. Wrong in a movie that Ellen DeGeneres still makes fun of to this day and City Hall starring Al Pacino, John Cusack, and Bridget Fonda before they found a wife in direct-to-DVD movies. Okay, so, Dennis, I'm going to throw it to you first. Which of all these movies stand out to you? Well, there's only one that I've actually <laughs> seen, which is Happy Gilmore, and that just you know reminds me of the kind of the golden era of Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. He did Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Wedding Singer, uh, Waterboy, and then uh, Big Daddy. That, right. For me, that, that was a nice run for him. Now he's doing blended in pixels so kind of kind of a different uh, different uh take on that um mr wrong i didn't see it but that was i remember that was before ellen degeneres came out and they were trying to sell yeah. her as um like a heterosexual romantic lead female and and then i think maybe I don't know how long after that she, she came out. So uh, If you can't get feelings for Lone Star, it's just not going to happen for anyone. Christian, I know you're a huge fan of Al Pacino. Yeah. Did you see City Hall in the theater? I certainly did. Did you really? I, I, went, I went opening night, actually, uh, <laughs> and it was disappointing. It's just boring, uh, you know, why, especially because I like John Cusack a lot. Bridge of Fonda was, was hot at the time, and, and I remember seeing uh, and just going for Pacino because I've been a Pacino fan forever, and I can't even tell you kind of what it's about. It was so bored out of my mind, and I remember telling myself, Come on, like it. It's Pacino. And I just remember going to sleep. Um, but Happy Gilmore. It's got to be Happy Gilmore. It's the one that it was like his second movie. It was the one that everybody kind of remembers that he had two back to back when he started becoming like this comedy superstar. And it's a real, it's still, it still holds up. And Carl Weathers in that, in that movie is amazing. Oh, yeah. Chubbs. It's just, it, it, there's so much to love in Happy Gilmore. It's such a quotable movie. Grizzly Adams did, in fact, have a beard. And when I look at the movies that came out 10 years ago, it's just nothing stands out. Although I was surprised to see that Eight Below, which is Paul Walker and Sled Dogs, made almost $80 million at the box I remember that. I remember office. it did really well. And it's like, look, if, you, yeah. if, if, if you're in a month, like February, where there's not a lot of good stuff coming out, you put a hot star on the rise and you put cute doggies in there, the movie's going to make money. But look, everybody at home, I know that there's some, some younger people watching this show. You know Adam Sandler from movies like Pixels or Click, something like that. If you haven't seen Happy Gilmore, do yourselves a favor and check out the Adam Sandler that we all fell in love with and still root for to this day, even though he's probably not coming back. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire our episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.